Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial, today we're gonna talk about the rooms. Especially I not will talk exactly about the rooms, we will talk about how to create it in 3D by Dynama. So what we're gonna use? We will use Dynama first, after that we will use of course the Revit and we will try to create the massing form from the Revit existing rooms to the 3D modeling. Why we need it? Sometimes when you are creating some uh, concept design or when you want to show it like on uh, in just some volume you can create uh, this volume by just simple script it's not okay I'm kidding it's not so simple if you are new in Dynama but anyway after this tutorial you will understand all the basic things how you can create it I mean the messing form from uh, Dynama uh, without any special skills. So, if you're ready for that, let's get started. And as always, I will create the new project. You can create your own project if you want, but I will create the new one. Let me I will create the new one and now we will use the architecture template. Let me use the architecture template and now let's create the uh, walls. Uh, walls help us to making boundary to the for the room. And let, let's not create, oh, let's leave it for now, the rectangular one, and let's place here the room. Let's call some somehow the room, here is the name of the room, and I will say my room will call like main room, why not, main room. It will help us to understand is it uh, that room what we want or no. It will be like that. Okay, main room. Now we will switch to the Dynama, let me go to the Dynama, and now we will work only in Dynama. So here is my Dynama, let's, I will make it a bit bigger, and now we will create a new script. Actually by this way you can create more, if you are using uh, Revit 2021, you will get all the nodes already, I mean the nodes uh, in um, Dynama. If not, just go back to the uh, packages and you can find all the nodes here. So what we need the first, we need the rooms, rooms, uh, by status, by status, uh, it's here as you can see. What is giving to us? Uh, if you will use right click and watch, here is the watch, if you will use the watch and you will connect place it rooms to the watch, you will see our room. So you no need to create the big script with select all object after that sorting in Revit 2021, you already able to do that. And let's change uh, automatic, uh, automatic the working to the manual, it help us uh, to not make some mistakes. So after that what we need, after that we need just create the boundary of the for the, our rooms, let me write room dot finish boundary finish boundary it's here and you will see right now magic let's connect place rooms to the room let's i will go back a bit oh it's base oh sorry run let's go back a bit and you can see boundary of my room i will place it somewhere here you will see immediately what's going on here okay and as you can see inside we get four curves as you understand one two three and four but we need only one curve. For that one, we need to use the poly curve. Let me will find here the poly curve. Poly curve dot uh, by join by join, and it's here. Let me connect curve to the curve, and as you can see here is nothing because we need to run it. And now you will see only one poly curve with four curves inside. So this is what I want. For what I need that? Because I want to create the surface by patch. Let me find the surface. Surface by patch. So it's here. And let's connect surface to the closed one. And let's connect. Uh, let's run it again. I'm doing it step by step to better uh, showing you how it's working. As you can see, we're creating the poly curve. I mean the surface from the poly curve this is blue color from the just curves i mean the from the boundaries so now we want to create some thickness of for this um, uh, for the surface how we can do that we need again the surface but we need now another thing like thickness we have different thickness here but i will use the uh, double side 
I will use double sides, I will connect surface to the surface. For the thickness, we will I will show you a bit later on how we get how we will get the thickness, but for the both sides we need only one. We need only to above above this level. Right click uh, on the screen and right here um, how it's called bool. We need boolean operation and it will be false. We need only the one side. Okay, so what about the thickness? Actually, for the thickness, we need to use the already familiar parameter for you. This is calling uh, this is calling element element dot get parameter. So it's here with this thing get parameter and let's connect our rooms to the parameter. And now we need get the height of our room, but how we can get it from the parameters? If you will go back to the Revit and if I will select my room, you will see here unbounded height is 4 meter. This is exactly the height of our room. If I will change, for example, limit offset for the 5 meter, you will get unbounded height 5 meter. If I will say base offset minus 1 meter, we will get, oh, I, I say it minus 1 meter. We will get here the 6 meter. Why? Because it's starting from the minus 1 and finishing till the 5. If you will calculate, you will see it will be 6. So let me a bit back. Here will be 0, here will be 4. And as you can see, unbounded height again 4 meter. So we need to find this parameter. Double left click, use these quotes, and right here, unbounded height. OK. And let's connect this parameter to the parameter name. Let's run it before we will connect with something. And as you can see, we get this parameter, 4 meter, exactly. And as you understand, this is 4 meter, will go exactly to the thickness. Let me will connect it. I'll connect it, I will run it, and as you can see, here is the 4 meter. Okay, what will happen if I will say here is for, for this both sides, I will say true. You will see, 2 meter is going to one side, 2 meter will going to the another side. We don't need that. We will say false, we will run again, and as you can see, it's going to the exactly one way. So, we already have the, our solid, but how come we cannot see this solid in Revit? Uh, yes, because we need to create the instance family, and we will do that right now. So, let's create the new parameter, it will be calling family, family instance uh, by geometry. Where is the by geometry? It's here by geometry. And let's connect our solid to the geometry. As you can see, it's pretty easy. After that, we need the name of our family. How we can get name? By same way, we will copy this uh, element. Let me copy it. And here we will create another parameter. Oh, actually, you can create another code block, but I will show you how you can use this code block for the another parameter. Just tap here the, here the enter against quotes and right here the name don't forget close it and now as you can see we get two connections and name will will connect to the parameter name done if you will run it you will see main room it's here and now we can connect our main room to the family name but now we need get family template as you can see here is no template why i need the family template actually this geometry will be not just geometry this is geometry will be not model in place that geometry will be model um that generic model as you can see this is much better than model in place okay we need file path file file path what is that it's here the file path and how you can get this path your first question of course, you it's not easy, but if you don't know how, let's go back to the Revit. Here is the file, new one, family, and here is the file path. Right click, properties, and let's copy the path. I already copied it. Let's close it, everything we don't need to go to the new family. And let's browse here that file path. Just copy this way, go to the English, and here you will find metric generic model. Let's say OK. No worries, you know, will change metric generic model. The Revit, I mean Dynama, will use this uh, way to create the new family. And now let's connect to the family template. So this is done. You already done with that. And let's run it. It will take just a bit of time. And you will see, uh, let me do like this. 
or maybe unhide it. And here, as you can see, here is geometry. As you can see, here is we created geometry. And as you can see, this is generic model and main room. Okay, let me I will delete this generic model. I will go to the level and I will a bit change my room. Let me I will say it will be like this. I will connect it, I will connect it, and uh, we already done with that. And as you can see, here is the my room. I will go back to 3D, and I will run my script again. Let's run it again. Mm, maybe I will make it like this. And here it's like this. Let's run it again. And as you can see, my room is changed. Exactly by the boundary. Let's make it more hard like i will select one uh one room let me i will do like this wall i want to create for example fill it between two walls maybe like this okay and i will delete these two room two walls and run it again what's going on and as you can see it's now curved it's more hardable as you understand but we already create our room but the thing is when we are using this way you creating exactly one family so it means if you will create the uh, like more than one rooms different uh, you will get the problem you will get the problem because you're creating only one family so one family one type don't forget about it or you can use another way to creating a uh, messing form in revit so it's the calling the geometry instance let's do the second way how you can create your uh, geometry inside in Revit. Actually, we can don't use any family. We can create in instance, and I will show you the difference. Let me I will find uh, here the another node, which is calling the um, Revit instance. So we need to find it, and after that, write by geometry, by geometry. It's here, and let's connect solid to the geometry, and we connecting to the family. I will show you the difference. Let's create, run it, let's go back to the Revit. I will go to the 3D. We have two geometries. If I will select, we have the family, as you can see, metric generic model with volume, everything all right. I will place it here. And we have another family. This is instant one. As you can see, the terrible name, don't have any volume and don't have any parameter. You cannot do anything with this object. This is the problem with between to this object, but this object have the one big nice future. Uh, if you need just create the, some extra, uh, some the volume of your bin, uh, rooms, and after that you wanna color it, this is will be best way without any knowledge because for that one you need to uh, split it. For example, one family, one type of the family, one room, and this is will be a bit hard if you not uh, don't know how it's working. So I will delete both of them. I will go back to the dynamo and I will freeze that. So let's say you can just delete the script which connecting with that one. I will do like this. It will be better for you. You not will be afraid. So I will delete everything with that. And as you can see, it's still working. If I will run it, this is my instance model. Okay. So what are we gonna do right now? I will show you how you can this instance model actually create the color. Let me go back. I will run it again. Here is the my model. I will go to the uh, Dynamo, right click, and let's write here overwrite. We need just element overwrite in view, and let's connect our import uh, geometry. Right click and palette. Aha, uh -huh, it's here color palettes and let's say this is will be color color maybe red one why not it will be red one let's connect to the color and let's run it and here as you can see my family with the color of the room so let's go back and let's create some more rooms let's create some uh, here wall I will do like this maybe like that I will do here, for example, by diagonal, and here will be the, like that and like that. So this is pretty enough, I think. Don't forget place the room. One, two, three, four. Okay, here's the my rooms. I will go back to the 3D as uh, let's I will select all the my walls and I don't wanna see it. Just I will hide temporary height. Okay, 
Let me I will go back to the Dynamo and how it will be work right now. If I will just say run, you will see all the my rules on the red color. It's immediately we create. But what if I will say we can make the different colors? For example, by volume. Let let's create the by volume. If I will select my model, as you can see, we don't have any volume. This is terrible things. But we have two ways how we can get the volume. We can get the volume from the uh, our room, and we can get volume from our surface patch. Let me I will show you how you can get from the uh, surface patch. For that one, we need the surface area. Surface area. So it's here. And let's connect surface area with the surface. Let's run it. And what we can see here inside. As you can see, here is the area. But this area in millimeters. That's the problem. We need convert, as you understand, from the millimeters to the meters. And let's, uh, let's find the uh, converter. So it's here. Just change the type of data to the area and square meter to the square millimeter. Connect to the area, run it, and we will get in meter, as you can see. It's pretty easy. Now we want to create the Boolean operation. Let me place it here. Boolean operation, it means we need to, for example, to make it equal something, to make it like true or false. Let me say this is if my room much bigger or equal to the 50, it will be true. If not, it will be false. Let me show you inside. True, false, 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 false. Only one room, it's uh, bigger or equal to the 50. Let me will say 40 and run it. The same thing, maybe 25. And as you can see, three true, only two false. This is, I think, much interesting. Okay, we get the result, but how we can arrange this result the next? Next, we need the mask. If you have the Boolean operation like true or false, you can mask it. So let's use the filter mask and connect our Boolean operation like a mask and our geometry solid to the list. Now, what we can do? Let's unconnect it here, geometry, and let's copy it. Just uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and here we will change the color. Let me, I will change the color for that one. And what we will do? If our geometry, I mean room, bigger than 25 millimeter, it will be here. If it's smaller, it will be here. Let's run it. Let's go back to the Revit, and here we are. You can see exactly where is the smaller room, where is the bigger room, and this is pretty nice. If you will now, for example, when I'm rotating, you can see here is the some artifacts. Why we have the artifacts? Actually, because Dynamo is still working. Let me, I will save Dynamo and I will close it. And as you can see, now not any artifacts and now you can create any graphics what you want. You can export it like image and in Photoshop creating some infographics of your modeling. And uh, yeah, you still can open, you can delete everything as you can see right now. You can open again your Dynamo and if you will uh, run it again, everything will ca came back. So let me I will show you, run it again. And as you can see, all the rooms here. We can also make the much nice thing like uh, let me I'll change the offset to the 8 meter. Here is the 8 meter. And let's run it again. I will show you like that. Just smaller. Run it again. And as you can see, if you change the height, height also changing by our family. Okay, this is pretty much uh, it. And I, as, if, uh, as I think this is uh, enough uh, knowledge to creating something interesting, to creating your infographics, to export your modeling. If you find this tutorial useful, don't forget about the likes, share and comments about that. Around the internet, you can find a lot of the programs which is working uh, like that. I mean, creating the geometry from the rooms. But if you know how to create it by your own, you can create your own rules. This is really important. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.